This is Dave. This is Rod. And, and this, this is Real Talk. Talk. Real men talking about real situations coming up with real solutions. Today we have a guest with us, Brother Nate Gardner. Yeah. He's joining us today. Thank you, Nate. What's up, uh, what's up, fellas? And the topic of the day is a lack of appreciation in relationships and marriages. So uh and family. So this is our topic. So I hope y'all tune in. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. It's gonna yeah, be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that being said, the the lack of appreciation falls under a lot of umbrellas. One of the one of the umbrellas that falls under is family. I don't think we appreciate family as much as we do. Right. Yeah, it's just, sometimes it's a sad commentary that we only come together as family when somebody dies. Right. And right. we should never come down to that. You know what I'm saying? I know we're in a pandemic, but we need, we need we still need to all check on each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? At least tell each other you love them. You know what I'm saying? If you can't see them. You visit them or something like that. You still get out there and say, "Look, man, I love you. I'm just thinking about you," and and just you know, just check on your folks, man, because you don't know what people are going through in, in in isolation with you know what I'm saying being have to stay home and and not be a part of uh, the family and stuff like that. You have to understand this is is we living in difficult times, and it's, it's it's I know it's not fun. We just got to buy by some rules right now. And don't, but, but like I said, we love each other. So you have to still say you love each other and tell them and tell them you love each other. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? That's so what right. you think about that, Nate? Uh, but like I said, man, I, uh, I appreciate you, uh, gentlemen, inviting me on this discourse. Um, I am elated. Uh, excellent topic, uh, considering uh, what's going down. Uh, the lack of appreciation for family, marriage, and Friends, um, at the end of the day, man, we have to have uh, some kind of value for ourselves. Um, for the most part, you know, people look for affirmation of who they are. You know, a lot of times we have lost our identity uh, through social media, uh, the dysfunctionalism of the family unit, uh, and building one another up. You know, uh, today, you know, we can tell each other we love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, today we can um, say how grateful we are and we appreciate you. We value your opinion, your work ethic, uh, the things that you do. Um, when we lose that or we have a lack of that, we devalue uh, uh, the gift that God has given us, you know. Exactly. Uh, for those who know uh, that each individual, man, boy, woman, and girl, has a particular gift. Uh, and a lot of times that gift is locked in until it becomes nourished or it's unlocked. It's, it's almost like uh, uh, the movie The Matrix, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Uh, we, are, we in The Matrix. And, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> and I've been to the Oracle. If you right, know, right, right. I know you're and, right. And, and, um, uh, and my desire is to, uh, is to unplug uh, other people. Again, appreciation it, it, it is very, very, very powerful. You know, another word for appreciation would be value, yeah. honor. Um, in the family structure, particularly uh, in the African-American family structure, uh, the lack of um, the man being present uh, is called devastating effect for our children, uh, their identity and who they look like and, and, and who they're, you know, who they're fighting for. So, uh, you know, with that being said, man, we, 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 we most definitely... Uh, have to honor and value, you know, even our women, uh, you know, their self-worth, uh, things that they uh, strive for to to get validation. You know, I have to undress myself to get accepted. You know, uh, I have to uh, go to strange and sorted places to, to earn a living. And, and we men are called to uh, provide, you know, but if we're not valued uh, for our gifts and our callings and our uh, our trade, then you know what are we used for? You know, so that that's where I'm at at, at, at this particular juncture. Right. Yeah. Now I, I want to sp speak on that uh, a lack of appreciation, especially dealing with relationships. I'm like, uh, uh, sometimes we can be in relationships that we don't appreciate the 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 next person. Uh, the things that the man do or the woman does, especially when it comes down to uh, uh, 
just the little things. Like if a man goes to work, uh, I think uh, if he goes to work, he brings home the bread and stuff like that. Just because you didn't uh, get to <clears throat> go on trips and stuff like that, uh, then not this year. Uh, he's working towards something. Uh, that appreciation should be still there. To me, I feel like, especially in relationships, it should be still there. You still uh, should be appreciative. Appreciative when it comes to relationships and value each other, especially uh, dealing with a man and a woman. So how, how, as a woman, how do men want to be appreciated? How do you, what, what is it that makes you feel like you're appreciated? Like, what would you like to see the woman do? Or say, okay. or whatever. And, and and replying to what she said, uh, a man, whether <laughs> y'all know it or not, ladies, a man wants his ego stroke just like y'all. Man, wow. You know what I'm saying? Say when you, this is what you understand, <laughs> when, when you know, you, when you, what, you, what I mean by that is, you know, a man gonna go twice as hard if a woman goes hard on him. Cause he he don't it's not y'all not in the competition with each other, yeah. but y'all just he just want to feel like oh I got acknowledged oh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go above and beyond to acknowledge my girl my wife whoever right you know what I'm saying because he wants his ego stroke and he gonna stroke his he gonna stroke yours back just as well but he he wants to do it on a higher level than you did yeah. towards him don't don't get it twisted lady ladies he ladies he wants his ego stroke right. yeah. and once he does. I guarantee you, you're gonna see something totally different in him. Guarantee. Right, right. And 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 the same thing, like uh, uh, especially if if you just tell a man, he don't have have to do nothing. Just tell a man that I appreciate you for being in, in my life. You know, I appreciate you for being the father or being the husband. To me, that that that's, that little stuff goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So to me, I'm like just appreciating a man, a black man. It's 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 man balling, you know. When we come home from work and you 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 already got things situated, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and the kids are in bed and, and the food's on the table, right. we, we see that. We like okay, you know. It makes us want to go out there and do more and work even harder than what we worked before. I'm like okay, she respects me, right? And I, I believe yeah, that respect so. plays a whole big part of uh, appreciation when it comes to a, a, a man, especially in the family. Yeah, to, the, to add to that is it's like you know. As a man, I come home, you know, it's my kingdom, it's my castle. You know, I want peace and my serenity. I know, right? Uh, uh, I, I love the idea of being needed or being wanted. Right. Uh, uh, I, I remember, you know, uh, sometimes it's very rare that, you know, when we under stress and stuff, you know, sometimes we don't have the word. We just need that comfort in words saying, mm -hmm. baby, it's going to be all right. Man, you know, man. Um, you know, <laughs> is, uh, we've been attacked on our job. We've been, yeah, we've exactly. been labeled. We've been blackballed. We've yeah. been, uh, I'm supposed to get that promotion and, you know, yeah. and go home. We don't want to hear a whole lot of negativity. We're going to be say, baby, it's all right. We'll just rub my back. Right. And right. tell me it's going <laughs> to be all right. right. It's going to be all right. right. And then in return, uh, because I know uh, that you are my help me, you know, I will embrace you, you know, and, I, and then I'll be able to to hear some of your needs because a woman's cry is a little bit different than a, than a man's cry right. uh, when it comes for help or nourishment or encouragement. You know, uh, you know, we, we got the fellas at times to say, bro, it's going to be all right, but it's nothing like the comforts of a loving woman. I mean, I'll, you know, man, man, right. and, and, you know, you're right. when she's able to embrace you, a supporter. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and you know, and we build, and this is our family. You yeah. Know? So that would be a, a, an area that that when it becomes a need, uh, you know, I need you, you need me. You know, we, you know, we, we need each other. This is our this is our unity. Uh, again, it, it also boosts morale. Right. Uh, you know, I, I, me personally, as an individual, I am a motivator. Uh, you know, my, my wife oftentimes hear me uh, on the phone with conversations with this brother over here and some others. <laughs> and she's like, boy, y'all be going in the paint, you know. Right, right. And, you know, it's but, how I live. Yeah, but it, it's like we're building one another, you know, and that's and that's that male uh, camaraderie. That's that brotherhood. But we also need that, that sisterhood. Uh, and that's a different kind of, uh, of building up. That's a different kind of, of nourishment, you know. Uh, for the most part, it, you know, for those who was born in a family dynamics where, you know, your dad was there and your mom was there and, you know, the mom, for the most part, uh, was the nourisher and, and the father was pretty much the disciplinarian, you know, the provider. So even as we become adults, we still, 
uh, not saying that our wives or our mothers or nothing like that, but they, they was the one that, that healed the wound and, and, and said it's going to be all right. You know, when we scratch our knee, baby, it's going to be all right. So right. When, we, when we go through the trials and tribulations of life, uh, you know, things will be able to change. Uh, if, 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 you know, the wife will be able to uh, learn how to encourage us on our journey. Right. So how do you how do y'all uh, appreciate y'all woman? Like, what do y'all do? You know what I'm saying? What is what is the, the man? Aim? I mean, it's so many different ways right. you can show your woman appreciation, man. You is this that can that could that question can be all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, right. you know what I'm saying? You show her, you show her, you show her just by. I mean, different forms. It's 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 five love languages. You know what I'm saying. That's right. So you have to understand which love language do you fall under. You know what I'm saying. And then you show your appreciation with that love language. You know what I'm saying. Like I said, you go hard. You know what I'm saying. You sure. You know what I'm saying. Because you know, I always say money is nothing. You know what I'm saying. Money is an afterthought. You know what I'm saying. It's it's how you treat her, how you listen to her, how you meet her needs when 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 need be. And you know, just different, different. It's different levels. You know what I'm saying. You gotta have. You know what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta go hard. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. My my philosophy is don't don't let don't let nobody else do your job. Right, wow. right, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Okay. So if you want to show your woman appreciation, don't let nobody else do your job. You be the front runner in doing your job to complete and meet her needs. Right, right. So, and, yeah. and my thing, and my my thing with that is is how do I so my my girl how I love it's it's is um I appreciate her is uh one of the things is just being there, spending time with her. You know, spending time that's that time that you couldn't off cell phones and couldn't off TVs, that's mm -hmm. that pillar talk time. Uh, uh, rubbing her back, like you know, yeah. <laughs> rubbing her back, you know, you can rub right, her back, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Rub her back, rub her down. And, and just letting her know, you know, uh, engaging in that conversation, like really listening to it. Like, you know, I'm not just watching the game, but I'm I'm giving you my undivided attention. Like, uh, uh, um, running, yeah, running up, uh, being present and uh, running up belt water, you know, massaging her feet. You know, to me, it's it's everything. You know, when I when Ryan said, you know, when I go hard, when I go ham, it's like I'm going to really show this woman, you know, how I feel. I'm going to show you how I feel, you know. That's real. Well, um, thank you, David. That was, <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, for, for me, again, uh, it, it comes down to, uh, Rod said, communication. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, uh, communication gets lost. Uh, I mean, I, I've been in the same room with my woman and wasn't even there. Uh, I'm just being transparent, <laughs> being honest. I mean, you know, sometimes you we right. gotta be real. Uh, I like for it to be your peaches and cream, right, right, right. Uh, for the most part. I'm watching TV and you hollering at me in the other room, <laughs> and I hear bits and pieces, and I just say yeah to everything, right. you know. <laughs> so because I'm, I'm, you know, and and so I have to learn, uh, and we have to learn how to set time for each other. Uh, particularly uh, if you've been in a relationship, uh, I've been married uh, going on 21 years. Right. Uh, you know, going ins on and outs and highs and lows. But at, at you know, you know, she's the love of my life. She's not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. But still, the the the, the being present is is more than being in the same house. You know, we really have to create time, uh, create space for us to meet each other's needs. It's almost like dating again. You know? Right. We right. have to. Even though our kids are gone, we got grandkids. We even got uh, we got dogs. You know, them are our little kids. So, <laughs> you know, we, we we oh my god, that's something else. <laughs> but uh, you know, we 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 do, you know, share and uh, uh, like the same things. We do have our movie night. Uh, you know, I look forward to that, and you know, we, you know, we invite a family member over, or whatever, to to share in that. You know, but again. Um, uh, I don't know about y'all. When I go to work, I talk a lot. Right. right. <laughs> so when I get home, I'm out of words, you know. <laughs> I tell my wife, love you, you know, and I don't have a whole lot to say. You know, right. I ask her how her day, you know, the, the, the basic questions and, you know, and then hopefully that's that. Then it's silence, you know. So then I, that's my cue. 
I'm gonna watch the game. You know? <laughs> That's my cue. I'm gonna go outside want, and play with the dogs. I want I want everybody to share this like. If y'all got any comments, uh concerns, just go yeah. ahead and share it, you know. Like and, and share it. And like and share it. Comment on anything y'all hear we say. Right. You're more than welcome. And y'all can go live anytime. If you wanna go live with us, you can go live with us about mm -hmm. this uh uh appreciation. And I'm gonna chime in, uh I think a good thing to show your appreciation. And it's give y'all something to work towards is uh is you know when 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 y'all are when y'all are just the, just for that that uh that excitement and the building of so like plan a trip and mm. then you know uh, box out that time to where y'all can work on that together if it ain't like um you know going through websites and prepping and stuff planning stuff you know what I'm saying to that y'all gonna do on this trip and things like that, so you can exactly, keep that exactly. excitement right. that like you know this is what that we fire. Yeah, this is what we right. doing and we this doing is gonna it. Gonna be excited when you get there and you're gonna be excited yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah, especially a uh, uh, date night. Especially if anybody's married, y'all need to have a strong date life. I mean, set a date that y'all both you know, y'all y'all both like and go out. You know what I'm saying? Treat each other like y'all. In love with each other again. <laughs> Girlfriend, still water, 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 water. Right, right. Don't get stagnated and still. So let's kind of change this around a little bit. Because of the lack of appreciation in a relationship, does that damage a relationship? Can, oh yeah. Can that damage the relationship? Yes. And can it be un 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 uh, mendable? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you you can it, it can damage it, but it also can fix it. Yeah, it can be fixed. It can be fixed. Anything, anything that's that's negative in a relationship or a marriage can be fixed. Right. Don't ever let nobody discourage you in that in that aspect. And don't let you know? don't ever take nobody for granted either. I'm like, you know, we take each other for granted, especially in relationships, and and we thinking, oh, well, that's what they're supposed to do. I've been in I've been in an old relationship, and when a female told me that. That's what you was doing before you met me. That's what you're supposed to. <laughs> and to me, that's a lot of, I'm like, for real, I don't even have to do that. You yeah, know? But, right. you know, just uh, appreciate each other. Even, even even in the little things, you know, appreciate each other. So I got a question. Um, and this is for each one of y'all right. to, uh, to go at however y'all can. Um, when it comes to the things that y'all did where y'all wasn't showing appreciation, like, when did you when did you tap in to understand that hey I, I wasn't playing I wasn't playing the right role I, I was being this and how did you bring that to her to make amends? Mm, right. Well, I, I had to, uh, me wow, personally. Wow, wow. That was a good question, <laughs> Curtis. That was a very good question. I got a good answer for it too, though. I got a good answer for it though. Question. But oh, no. me, I had to figure out balance. I had to figure out balance because you got a, you got home life, work life, right. And you might have church life. You gotta you gotta find balance. And then once you don't if you don't find that balance, then it's like it takes away from the relationship. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like somebody's, you know what I'm saying, somebody's not happy, somebody's, you know what I'm saying, frustrated, you know what I'm saying? But like I said again, once you have to uh you have to find balance and, and, and then you know, you come to your partner and say, Look, this is what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? We 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 ain't been in, we been in, but we ain't breaking. You know what I'm saying? Right, we we right, you know right. what I'm saying? We sticking and staying. You know what I'm saying? A real situation to stick and stay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Life is built with swift transitions. You got to be ready for the transition when it comes. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? You can't you can't fold a tent every time. You can't run from the situation every time. You got sometimes you got to man up. You know what I'm saying? As a as a man and as a woman toward her mate to say, look. Okay, I know you You said let's meet in the middle. Let's meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big eyes, little use. You know what I'm saying? We a team. And that's how you got to operate. Wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> when I, <laughs> I've been in a couple of relationships when I realized that uh, uh, I took it for granted. And and, uh, um, and I was doing it with the time. You know, I was uh, in the, involved in everything else but the relationship. And when I did realize that, I went ahead and started you know, uh, uh, putting him apart, you know, really, I went ahead and started making that a, a value, a, a priority. Right, so right. that was one of the things that when I, I did get wind of it, you know, and you can, you can tell how your mate's uh, moving and the language that she's letting you know, like, I ain't happy right now. So 
And when she's doing that, you you got to hurry up and pick up on it. Like, look, what what's going on? Talk to me. Let me know why I'm messing up at you know. So mm-hmm. as, as in my case, it was the time I just been involved in everything. It was the time. For, for me, um, I am guilty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is I, Lord. <laughs> I stand in the need of prayer. But for me, it, it was more. I I, I got. Late on in a relationship, I got real selfish and self-centered. It was all about me and, uh, you know, not meeting her needs, focusing on other things, you know, staying busy, you know, not really wanting to deal with what was going on, you know, hoping that it would go away, and mm-hmm. it never did. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, uh, I like what you said, the balanced life. And, you know, as I did a history over my life, you know, anything I love, I went hard at it. Right. You know, I can remember, you know, being part of the body of Christ and, and then going to meetings after meetings after meetings. And, and, you know, and that wasn't her thing, per se. You know? Right, right. So right, I didn't, right. Ha- I, you know, I'm like, well, I'm doing it. You wrong. I'm right. You know, <laughs> and, 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 you know, because I'm looking at everybody else's relationships right. and, yeah. and how they're doing their thing. And I'm thinking, I want to be like them. Right, you know? right. And I found that it, it in a painful like way uh, that you got to work at your own soul salvation. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, your marriage, you know, you, you have to work it. You have to can't. You it's know, unique. Yeah. It's your we own. can look at leaders and those, our parents or those we adore in their way of approaching marriage and dealing with the dynamics. But you still have to figure out what, what y'all two things are, you know, because we come from different, two different cultures, two different backgrounds. You know, we both was, you know, believed in God, raised in church, but the, the church life was different for her than it was for me. Right. Different you know? levels of, uh, yeah. of church. Mm-hmm. And there's people just different. Like, and you got to, you got to, if you, if you marry that woman, you got to meet her where she is, exactly. you know, yeah. and then you got, you got to find a way to respect where she's at. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then she got to find a way to respect where you at so y'all can keep that understanding because like, you gotta look at the dynamic of the church. You know, you got you got your screamers and your hollers, <laughs> you got your head nodders, and then you got the ones that don't say nothing. Yeah. And all they those, sleep. The, all, all, all those are different individuals. That don't mean one is more on fire than the other. That just means everybody has are everybody are t- they're totally different. Amen. And it's got to be a respect there. Right, right, right. And that's yeah. good because. Just because a woman cooks and cleans, right. she may not feel appreciated. Right. Because you're working. It's like there's just you just gotta understand it's a balance. you gotta understand what their appreciation language is. Right. Like, what is their language? how how what is it that makes them feel appreciated? And vice versa. The woman has to know exactly how to make her man feel mm. appreciated. And it could be, it may not be cooking and cleaning. That might be something he might be thinking, well, you need to do, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's so, a lot of tradition. Yeah, too. a lot of traditional stuff. Um, um, and I noticed traditional things normally be the breakdown in, in relationships. Thank you. It normally <laughs> do more hurting than helping. Mm. Because, like, nobody really wants to be trapped in a box. Right. You know, and that and that situation is a box like exactly. mentality. <laughs> yeah. You're right. And Brandon, Brandon Brandon says there's a lot of key factors for each person to be weighed in on and just getting to know your partner. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. Again, you know, for, for me it, it was like I mean, I like washing dishes. <laughs> uh, right. I, I like, like washing clothes and I, I like folding I, my I, wife's clothes and right. I like but I, neat, I like you know, washing clothes too. So. And I like <laughs> vacuuming and all that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, I'm right. too much cook, but you know, <laughs> and I when I married her and I'm like, you know, you cook? And she's like, Yeah. I was like, Yes. You know. And traditionally, you know, that's what my mom did and that's what you know I loved about it. And you know, she started off that way. And uh you know, appetites change and just that and the third, but you know, a lot of it was traditional, but a lot of things I did, you know, uh, traditionally, you know, you know, who makes up the bed when you get up in the morning? You right. know, I do it. I don't <laughs> mind doing it. I like my bed made up, you know. Right, right. It's just. What works for you. Yeah, you know. Your house. And, 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 and if you let me in your house, I'll wash your dishes too. So, <laughs> uh, let, 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 be let careful. Me, well, let me say something too. You don't never want to be in a relationship and the person devalue you. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want to show your value. You want to show your worth your to that worth. person. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. So it's like, you know, 
I don't. I, I think being devalued in relationships and or in or in a marriage too, which I've never been married. But right. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sure that got to hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And I know it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. If if, if somebody is tell if they, if somebody get on in this thing and say they never experienced pain, they a lie. They right. never experienced hurt, they a lie. Guess what? Every, every, any everybody walking in the United States of America got a flaw. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a flaw, right, right. And it's only up to you to expose the flaw and fix it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't, ain't nobody on this, ain't nobody, ain't none, none, nobody talking on this, on this podcast today got a flaw. Don't got a flaw, right? Everybody got a flaw. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And we don't, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Be better every day. That's that's, that's the right. goal. You know what I'm saying? Wake up trying to figure out, God, how can I how can I be better? How mm -hmm. can you make me better? You know what I'm saying? And then you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You got to be, the Bible tells us strictly and forcefully, be careful who you entertain because it might be an angel in the world. You don't know who you're talking to. Right. You right. don't know who, what type of person give you something because guess what? Everybody not trying to get something from you. You might be trying to get something to them. Yeah. You don't know. You don't. Even, you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You you can be. You don't know who you come in contact with on a daily basis. It's it, it's 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 real. That's right. It's real. It's not. It's not a game. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? The Bible says the Bible's acronym means basic instructions before leaving Earth. Man, y'all better understand. It's real. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 discount the fact that what's going on in the Bible because these are these are real self truths. Right. Right. Amen. And I wanna I wanna say something. It's not getting off to, uh, off topic, but it's on topic. But just giving the women advice a little bit about men. If uh, you feel like he he's not understanding you or he's not get, showing you the love you're supposed to have, y'all need to go to him and let him know. You know, most time y'all expect that we yeah, should know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and I know we're supposed to pick up on it, but most of the time we feel like we are already taking care of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So if we miss the mark, just come direct. Don't come in a circle. Come direct because we, we only understand directly, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just giving that advice to all the women that's out here. So Brandon says, both people in a relationship have to come to a point of what they are willing to settle for and be willing to be with each other on those values. Right. If they agree and make it work, then so be it. You, all right, you, all right. Well, well, the way I respond to that, is, you know, you have to know what's the deal breaker in your relationship. Right. Right? There is a standard, there's boundaries, you know, what's acceptable, what's unacceptable. You know, uh, you have to, you know, you stand for something or you'll fall for anything. So even in the marriage, you know, there has to be uh, some standards. And, and for, for us, you know, our, our standard is the word of, word of God. And we try to allow that to be the guide, the platform what we stand on when we do disagree. Uh, we, 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 you know, we use the Bible as the final word, the final say, you know, not so much to beat each other up with it. It's just, we use it as a reference point prayerfully. Uh, you know, that's, uh, that's something I think is very, uh, valuable, uh, in a marriage yeah, is, yeah. uh, our, our time together with, with, you know, uh, who we believe in, you know, if, you know, if it's your religion or whatnot, uh, but for the for the most part, you know, staying connected, uh, knowing that uh, there are other forces out there that don't want this marriage, don't want this relationship to divide. Because we, you know, sometimes we we, we can talk to the devil and not even know it. Mm -hmm. uh, right, you know, it's big. Giving, it's big. Right giving, there. giving conversation, uh, you know, uh, you know, be careful, you know, talking to. The opposite sex, and you know, you don't mean no harm. Just being friends, and and you know, and, and dropping seed. Yeah, and then you know, and it begins to water and plant before you know it. You find yourself uh, deviating, deviated from the uh, the wheel, and then you know, you cause harm. You know, and that's one of the things that um, I, I encourage every man, every woman, is not to cause harm. Uh, you know, uh, I think it was an earlier question of talking about amending ways or. You know, you know, you talk about forgiveness, you know, um, and, and Rod just said everybody has been hurt or somebody, everybody is flawed, you know, but, you know, can we forgive one another, you know, and sometimes it's hard to forgive when the behavior is, is consistent or it can re continue to repeat itself. And even if it does that, what do I do when that behavior continues to repeat itself, you know, so 
and can I jump in on what you're saying just to roll off the truth? When when that uh when that behavior is repeated like that, it can cause for either the woman, depending on how dominant she is, mm-hmm. or the man on how dominant he is, to one of the two to lose their voice in the relationship. Right. And that's when you're really in trouble. Yeah. Because once you to once you to push that partner, whichever one it didn't happen to, to lose their voice and lose their fight in the circumstance that's that's and i see it i see it a lot you know you got those real timid guys that just let the woman just run all over him he then he lost his voice yeah. and then you got on the vice versa we've seen that in the more old in the older days with the older women where the men were so dominant then the women didn't have a voice yeah. and we just got to be careful on not not to repeat those right. those uh those those uh curses Right, right. And then, too, uh, that's trust. Because then you begin to lose trust if it keeps repeating that same thing over and mm-hmm. over. So I'm not going to trust your voice, am I? Right. Exactly. And then, and then you, like you said, then you're talking to the opposite sex and you're thinking that they're appreciating you and exactly. you're getting this false thing. And before you know it, the relationship's broke up. Right. Someone's going another way thinking that this woman appreciates you more than this woman. Right. right. You're right. And, and especially when. Uh, uh, with another woman <clears throat> like that, I'm like, don't ever try to uh, go into another relationship because you feel like uh, that woman is not appreciating you. I'm like, if you got to, you know, let her know what's going on. I mean, if y'all need some help, get counseling or something like that. If y'all can't talk to each other, if y'all need a mediator, bring that person in just to mediate you, you know. Uh, plus, I want to bring up uh, appreciation when it comes to uh Yourself, self appreciation. When it comes to your yourself, I'm like, don't never be in a relationship if you've been dogged. Uh, they keep on threatening you about staying in a relationship. And spe- I'm talking about relationships. I'm not talking about marriage, but in a relationship, <laughs> and they threaten you about, you know, if you don't do this, and then I'm out. I'm like, hey, let them go. You know, I'm telling people if they don't want to be in a relationship with you, appreciate yourself to go. You know, just walk away from it. It sounds like you're talking about self worth. Yes, it was self worth. Uh, there is a uh, identity crisis uh, in America about our own personal value. What mm-hmm. are you worth? Exactly. So mm-hmm. if I'm looking for validation from a man or a woman to tell me how much I'm worth, I just might be deceived because sometimes you don't know the hidden motives mm-hmm. behind a person's intentions. And I found it very interesting. You go to the book of Job, uh, chapter 28, verse 13. It, uh, let me read it to you real quick. And this is something that I thought was interesting. It says, man knoweth not the price or the value thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. And what that scripture talks about to me is talking about we cannot find out our value or our worth among humanity. Right. So there has to be this power. I choose to call them God who can give you my value, uh, my worth. And then once I receive that, I mark it up myself. Then I won't fall for anything. You know, then my standards up, 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 and I can't be deceived by likes and shares and comments and things like that. Right. And yes, this topic right here is dealing with a lack of appreciation in relationships and marriage and family. So I just want to let y'all know this is where we're at. This is the topic. So if you got any comments or concerns, Kirk and yeah, and uh, 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 I just gonna let you know about Kirk and Manuel. They ain't out. I mean, they out right now, but they'll be back. Keep this is prayer. a, a, a prayer. brother Nate Daniel. He's our guest speaker. speaker He's yeah, doing yeah. an awesome yeah. job yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah. show him yeah. love, fam. Yeah, so show him love. Remember and, to like and share this uh, video. Right. You know what I'm saying? We 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 love all our people who tune in and, and support us. Just continue to uh, like and share it, and and it's what it is. So we're gonna talk about family appreciation, right? <clears throat> On the men and the women. On the men and women side of things, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, this this is a touchy subject. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real touchy subject because you know. You know, they say it's 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 been known that they a lot of people say they rather deal with fe- friends than family. Right, right. right. It should never ever be that way. <laughs> I don't care. It should never be that way. You should never want to choose fam- or choose friends over family. 
You know what I'm saying? They right. say blood's thicker than water. Let that be blood thicker than water then. Don't let nobody no don't let nobody drive a wedge in between you and your family. You know what I'm saying? You never take something away from the family. The family is the is the centerpiece that, that keeps everything together. Whether it be matriarch or patriarch, it doesn't matter. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand that the you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day you got family. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the thing main things I explain to my son when he, when he's out here um you know what I'm saying, being an adult. Guess what? You got your friends, but guess what? If you get in trouble, who you calling? Family. Right. You calling right. family. You ain't right. calling your friends. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, I mean, you got to understand, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They, everybody say FOE, family over everything. Let that be let that be the thing. Family over everything. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody deviate you, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody take you from your family. You know what I'm saying? I know sometimes it be it could, it could be a situation where the man or the woman don't want the man or the woman around their own family because they what they want to do is it's it's a psyche thing. They want to control the mind and take that away from them. Mm -hmm. And that's not what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Once you if you feel if you feeling if you're in a situation where you feeling like somebody's trying to take you away from your family, right. you better run. Right, you know? right. Because guess what? If, if if he dropped the ball, you got to go back to your family. Your family might not even want to deal with you after, you done, after the way you done treated them mm -hmm. and, and disowned times, them. And a lot of times that, that do happen where you would get with a mate, a, a, a woman would get with a man, and a man would get with a woman, and one of the two will be trying to separate them from, they, from they, their original tribe. And instead of blending families, it would be, it would be a mess. And mm -hmm. I've seen it to where I don't know where it really comes from, I think it's more of a brokenness inside whoever's doing it. Yeah, um, I, I agree. And uh, with, with that being said, you got to watch for them, them red flags because they would doctor it up as it's they, they loving you hard or they care about you exactly. in such a passionate <laughs> way to exactly. where, you know what I'm saying, they, they don't want to share you, but the truth be told, they got they got deeper issues because they can't self-soothe. Come know? on. I like that. That's Amen. What, that's what that is. Part of, part of the part of the uh, part of the family uh, structure, we we must understand that it's most definitely under attack. Uh, right, right. Uh, the family is is, is is the fabric of the key the community, and it goes out to the nation. Mm -hmm. The dysfunctionalism in it that becomes key because uh, you know the the woman's role for for for. for for most of the part is the nourisher. You know, if, if there's a situation in the family, you know, if the guy has to leave, you know, or, you know, nine times out of ten, the kid's going with the mom. That's just, <laughs> exactly. just, as, as just automatic for, for whatever reason. And uh, so in order to uh, redefine family, we, we, we have to redefine what family is. What does family look like, right. you know? And uh, even though... There are friends that are considered family. We forget about the jealousy component in the family structure. Sometimes, you know, uh, you know, parenting. There's no book written on how to parent, but yet at the same time, I may, I may give a little more attention to Johnny than I do Jack. You know, so Jack grows up thinking Johnny was better than me. Mom loved him more than me, and what happens? It causes a dysfunction. It causes jealousy. You know, the first murder we know that Cain killed Abel. You know, so you know, this jealousy component in there. And what we have to redefine is that when we love our children or love on our children, we love them according to the need or according to the purpose. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm nurturing a purpose in one of my child that I'm not nurturing another because this person may not need that type of attention. And I didn't find that out until I was about 40 years old. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a, a deep jealousy, uh, with my little brother, you know, because I didn't understand me being the middle child. He's the baby. My older brother tell me what to do, and I try to tell my little brother what to do. He wouldn't do it, so I get on him, <laughs> and I get whooped, you know. But uh, the family, the family structure, man, it, it, it's what's under attack, and uh, we, we we have to we have to put people in the in a proper position, you know. Right. You know, the man is is the head of the family. Uh, you know, the, the voice of God. It doesn't devalue the woman's voice. He is just the one who who puts it out there. So right. you do have to consider uh, or listen to what, what the wife is saying, the, the woman is saying, uh, even listen to your children. Uh, you know, the Bible said let a child, a child may lead them. So, you know, some things can come through your children that you can take heed of. 
about your family structure. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So with that being said on 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 on, on a family, uh, all I want to say is, at the end of the day, that's all y'all got. You know that's what I'm saying? I mean. and you you got family. I mean, you, I, I, you you know what I'm saying? We can't get rid of them. <laughs> as bad as we swore, probably want to sometime right, we right. want to get rid of them guess what they going to still be right there right, right. you know what I'm saying we, 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 we want to disown them don't want to deal with them don't be bothered with them or none of that guess what we still love them and they love us mm -hmm. so you just got to understand that you know it's no it's no like I said it's no big eyes and little you's and family it's, it's always we and us you know what I'm saying and, and, and togetherness, you know what I'm saying, unity, you know what I'm saying, that's what draws everything together, unity, you know what I'm saying, whether I said, whether 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 you have the matriarch in the family or the patriarch, or, or both, you know what I'm saying, so you got to understand, is is family is, family is, uh, you know, family is a big part of, right. of our history, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, you got, you have people with 30 people in their family, uh, down to maybe five people in their family, it doesn't matter, it's still family, family is the, Family is the unity, the structure that holds everything together. It's like a bond. You can't break a bond. You know what I'm saying? Once the bond is there, it can't be broke. Right. And then I want to read this scripture right here. It, it really stuck out. It says uh, in Proverbs 17 and 17, mm -hmm. it says, uh, friend, friends love all time, but kin folks are born in a time of trouble. Right. And to me, that right there, it, blow, it blows me away because, I mean, our kin folks, we, uh, we can't choose them, but, I mean, they there. And we got to keep on loving. We appreciate them too, you know, as well. Because uh, family back in the days, the the family back in the days when it came to money, it wasn't it wasn't material. It was it was your family. How big your family was. How big your family was. It determines how rich you was, you know. So to me, it's like value your family members. I mean, appreciate your family members. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciate everybody in my family. You know, I don't hate none of them. And I'm saying it's on my ass. So. <laughs> I love all of them, you know. This this one thing I did find out about family. You can do things to family that you can't do to nobody else a lot of times. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of hurt that does go on in the family structure, you know, whether it's, you know, dishonor, disrespect, you know, we'll fight it out or do whatever, you know. Um, and there's always that amending piece because we're family. We just blooped out, uh, <laughs> you know, so that... You know that you know that 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 sticks with me with, with my family. We may disagree, and and do all that, but let somebody on the outside try to come in. Uh, you know there there there'll be some some problems. So we're gonna talk about how to cut, how to overcome family hurt. Mm. This, I, I, I ain't got an answer for that. You know now. I mean because when you hurt somebody in the family, it trickles down to everybody. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, and then everybody got their own opinion about the hurt. Right, right. They trying to figure out how to get you back. Right. And then, but it's not, but it's two wrongs don't make a right. You know right. what I'm saying? So you have to understand, you know what I'm saying? You have to man up, woman up, and, 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 and say sorry. But say sorry, when you say sorry, sorry doesn't, sorry is a, is a bad commentary because basically when you say sorry, you just allow people to do it again. Hmm. But if you say if you say sincere when you when you say sorry with sincerity, you say sorry with sincerity to change it to make it better. Right, right. Not sincere, not 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 just saying sorry because you like oh I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. Oh I'm sorry I shouldn't have did that. You saying it with the intentions of changing it, right? And making it so better, say, making it better. Apologize and do you accept my apology? Right. It's a person's <clears> choice. Right, right, right. Proper right. dialogue. You give them a choice because they have a choice if they're gonna accept your apology or not. But just saying sorry, you're not even dialoguing with me the right way right. In, in the right pretense to, to let me know that I'm existing in this conversation and you are too. Okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's, it's respect, like, at the first thing you say. And then as far as for that, which, with that, that situation, you always, well, for me, and this is just for me, I never burn a bridge. Right. But I close the road for a while. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. good. That's good. That's a good. One. That's a good man, one. Man. Still, if y'all didn't hear what he said, he said he'd never burn a bridge, but he'd close the road for a while. Right. Yeah. That's love. That is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's hard love. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like my daughter. She. 
<laughs> she ain't gonna burn no bridge, but she will close a bridge right, where right. you don't have access to it. But you know, even in the family hurt and some things we don't like talk talk about, like uh, molestation and rape, and you know stuff like that in a family structure. You know, and how do we talk to that? How do we heal that? How do we amend that? You know, and, and you know that's a deep seated pain uh, that that's going to take a lot of work and, and hopefully. Uh, you know, counseling most definitely is a part of that. And, you know, again, you, you have to understand when, when things of that nature happen in a family structure, nine times out of 10 that that has happened to the person who, who, who did the, uh, the action, the act to you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's a pattern. We, we talk about generational curses. We talk about, you know, dysfunctional behavior, you know, whether it's open or even secret. You know, these things can cause uh, uh, road blockages, if you will. Uh, or, or, no, no, in fact, no, no, road block, burn the bridge. I don't never want to see you no more, that kind of thing. Right. Right. And then the preparation. And that right there is a situation called rape and molestation. Yeah. That's the type of situation because family. That happens in families. Yeah, love. especially with black families. Family, that, that word to me, yeah. mm. symbolizes love. Love, mm. yeah. And love is an action word. Mm. That's right. And if your actions ain't on par with on par love, you words. become not family, you become a relative. Right? Uh -oh. Oh. It's a difference between relatives and family. Mm -hmm. Family pours into one another with that thing called love. Mm -hmm. Relatives, y'all just share the blood. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. Generational curses are real. Right, right. Don't never think they not. They are absolutely real. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But it's up to you. To be the foundation of the, of the person to break it, you know what I'm saying. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying. You have to be, you have to, to be a good leader. You got to be a good follower first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to be, good, you got to be a good follower first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying. You you don't have to be always in followhood. You go, mm -hmm. you got to be leaderhood. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It's it's a reason why we have a president of the United States. You know right. what I'm saying. Because we need a leader. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't never discount the fact that you know what I'm saying you can't be led or you know what I'm saying, or you don't have or you or you don't think you could be a leader. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why people have uh different positions at at, at, at their job, like supervisors, team leads. You can put you can put yourself in those positions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in leadership positions, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, with that being said, you have to understand that it's 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 you know, every it's real out here. You know what I'm saying? I, I just wish that we would Learn to love each other more than we do, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, we right. not we not loving each other. We we calling this stuff this stuff love, but it's love with an asterisk. Oh, <laughs> right. And I I wanna I wanna uh, I wanna speak more, especially when it comes to the family uh, uh, forgiveness. It's a lot of family that's hurt, you know, especially after yeah. uh, uh red. I mean, after people who passed and the the family get divided off food yeah. and off yeah. uh, uh, monies and. All, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. I'm like, and you got you got to have that forgiveness. You got to have that love. I'm like, you really got to love them past. They hurt right now because they might have just been hurting for that moment. But you know, to me, a lot of a lot of family members they they get that internal hurt and they don't want nothing to do with the family members. Like, we ain't blood. You know, I ain't my blood. You know, I heard my my own family say, "Well, that's not my blood." You know, it's, it's because I'm like, to me, y'all don't know what real love is. I mean, real love, especially if you love your wife. And you can keep on forgiving her day after day, and you love your husband or your boo, and you keep on forgiving them day after day. But when it comes to family, you want to really cut them off. I think that's wrong. I think you need to go back and check yourself, like you know, see if you really love your family. You know, I don't think you really love your family when it comes to stuff like that. I'm like, you know, no, ain't no way you can cut off a person, especially somebody who got that blood in you. You know, and this is family. I'm like, you you got to appreciate your family. So, as a person who is so upset with family that they're they can't love, they can't even get past what's the roadblock is i i mean it, like like we said before, I don't think it would hurt counseling to figure out what it is about yourself right. that's putting the block up from you loving your family right. see as you know, as a, a black person in America, we don't think of counseling as something that's appropriate. We're right. like, oh, that's only for white people. Right, that's right. only for, you know, but as a 
black All person in America, issues, mm-hmm. if we have issues, yes, mental health, we need help. If if you can't get past what it, the block is, it's okay to get help. Yeah, it's okay to seek help. It's okay to get that help so that you can get over that hump, whatever that hump is. Right. Right. So that's why I say you have to love like you've never been hurt. Man, mm-hmm. that's a goppy love. You know, like some over there, man. you know what I'm saying? You got to love like you've never been hurt, mm-hmm. man. Because guess right. what? People going to hurt you all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you right now, being a Christian is hard. Because you get tested all the time. People want to test you. They want to see how, how strong your Christianity is on a daily basis. That's why my mentality every time I go outside this house is people for me to be effective an effective person during the day. No, because guess what? You 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 will come in contact with people who got all type of attitudes, who got all type of mood swings, and guess what? You gonna still have to go out here and perform, do your job, and be the best you. You don't you 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 you're not gonna be able to get past that. You don't know who you gonna encounter during the day. You don't know. You just you 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 don't got an inkling of what's about to happen when you go outside these four walls. You don't know. But guess what? It's up to you to be the the light. So Kristen says forgiveness is not I mean forgiveness is for yourself, yeah. not for the other person. Right, that's true. But sometimes you have to love from a distance. And then someone Anita says, Yes, Kristen, she agreed. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta love family from a distance. Right. If and, you know and, it's causing turmoil. I, I say all the time, I say all the time, sometimes you gotta uh, uh, love them from with a short spoon, you know, instead of a long spoon. Don't give them so much, you know. Mm-hmm. And and if if you know that family and it hurts you, it don't mean that you cut them completely out. It means that you I'm about to love back up for a, a minute. Distance. I'm gonna love them from a distance. And I, and then when I do feed them, it's gonna be a short spoon. You know, so it's not like, you know, you're being rude, but you're still keeping them there. They hurt you until you get back to, you know, y'all can be back to where y'all brother got that brotherly love. Exactly. And that y'all, you know, y'all supposed to have, then, you know, that's what you do. So asking you, bro, um, uh, David, I was asking you off of the what you said earlier. So how do you deal, because we all know it exists, the two familiar spirit within the families that create the hurt. How do you deal with that? You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? We know that spirit on mm-hmm. some family members is so repeated it's so repetitive, like it forces everybody because you you'll watch that family member and you will watch that family member literally do it to so many people to where they'd be alone. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So wow. you, you can't Cause we all be seen it. Right. We all have that one family member, that two family members that literally <laughs> that <was> are <laughs> they 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 are they are secluded mm. because they just tough people to be around. They just so how do you deal with that tough how do, person? How do you yeah. how do you break through? Because you say you got to look. How do you break through to that family member to be like, hey, look, you do have a, a, a two familiar spirit, and you do hurt a lot of the family members, and that's. How do you bring that? Oh, well, this is this is what I do. I'm like, you know, when uh, uh, if you're dealing with a person that they got a hard spirit, I do got a spirit like that. Uh, you love them. You love the hell out of them. You keep on loving them, and then you start. You you come to them first. You get in, and have you got to maneuver yourself to get in to their bosom because they got a they got a wall up. And once you get past that wall, then start asking the questions. Asking them questions like, you know, why are you hurt? Let them explain themselves because a lot of times. We can be hurt because we can't exhale, because we can't get it out. We stuck with it. And we just need somebody like a backboard to listen to that stuff. You know, like, I'm listening to it. And then, and then that's when you start putting God in there. You start putting, you know, good stuff in there. So you're replacing it. You're doing it slide. They don't know what, what you're doing, but you're doing a slide to get them back into the fold because they, they lost right now. They think, you know, they don't want to be a part of the sheet. I mean, the fold. But, you know, you, you go out there and get them. By any means, so especially if it's family members, you go out there and get them. If you got family right now, you ain't speaking to them. Go and speak to them. Yeah. Go and love them. You I know, got, I got those you know. Yeah. And even if they are <laughs> people to talk to and deal with, wow. I don't care what it is. It, it's it's your job, especially if you got God in your life. It's your job to go and get them. You know, go and save them. I don't care who it but is. But there's someone and out there that may feel like it's their job to come seek me. Exactly. exactly. So, so, right. so what do you do about that? Because my situation, and I'm not tripping about it to that degree. Because right. 
a family member was putting bad mouth on my on my children. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's a no fly zone. You you do get cut off right. once you put bad mouth on my children. But but spiritually, it's a spiritually and, and uh, <laughs> Lord spiritually. You got to look beside that person. It's always the spirit behind that person. Yeah. They still God's yeah. people and God right. still love them. But because they operating within a, with a spirit that they ain't supposed to and they speaking that stuff out their mouth, sometimes you got to look behind that person to look at that spirit and go ham on that spirit. I mean, pray against that thing. But a lot of times we get so upset because they hurt our feelings or they hurt our family. We need to get back and start praying for that spirit. It's a lot of times that family members came against me, but I didn't come back against them. I came at the spirit that they was operating in. What are you saying about that, Nate? I can speak from experience. Uh, I was that one family member that had caused harm, and what they didn't know, that the guilt and shame blocked me off from me coming to them and say, hey man, I was sorry I did this to you. <laughs> and, and every time I came around, just being Christ in the Christ. presence made me feel guilty of what I did two years ago because one, I never asked for forgiveness. Two, I never never really confronted it or was it, you know, no one never really uh came to me with it. If they did, I didn't want to hear it, you know. So, you know, I had this wall up and, and David pretty much said we have to find a way to break down that 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 wall. And a, a, a lot of times um we don't have the information or the carriage to do anything different. You know, when I was a kid, something wrong with Nate, whoop him. Beat the hell out of him. You know, not knowing I could have been ADHD or I needed this, that, and other. You know, you know, we limit ourselves. You know, we, we, we don't have enough information. We don't have enough resources. How do we approach this situation? You know, they got things like intervention. You know, it, it, it could be a spirit behind it. It could be the spirit of alcoholism, the spirit of drug addiction. And we know he get high. We know he do this, that, and other. But he's always doing this. What is really not him is the thing behind that. Right, so right. we got to address that thing uh, that he's trying to cover up with the drugs and alcohol, mm -hmm. which could lead back to what? Something that happened in the family. Yeah. You know. A uh, bad father, a bad mother. The, the, the void. Yeah. You know, of not feeling love. And then we use uh, something else. Child. All that, yeah, all, all, all that. these elements, you yeah. know, it can it can throw a person. And off. that's why I said jealousy. A gentleman just said somebody said something about his kids negatively, and like jealousy. Yeah, mm -hmm. jealous because you're a good father. Jealous because your children doing this and that's that. I, know, I didn't know. understand it neither because this same person I took care of their kids, and you yeah. repaid me by talking about my kids. Yeah. Right, man. jealous. This is what you got to do, man. <laughs> you got to operate in the spirit. And, and, we just want to we just and we just want to tell y'all to like and share this thing. Right, we glad right. y'all. You know what I'm saying. Even when we go offline, y'all can come back on and watch it. If y'all got any comments, concerns, or questions, we'll be glad to get back on there and yes. uh, and answer them for you. It's not a problem. In uh, in our conclusion, we're gonna let everybody have one one last thing to say. And I'm gonna start it off. First thing I want to say is I want to thank God for everything He's done for me. You know what I'm saying. Without Him, it's no me. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't isolate myself in no type of way from none, none of, nobody around this table. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell you. I'll do anything for anybody. Right. They'll tell you. Right, right. Yeah. No problems. You know what I'm saying? If I if, if it's in the realms of me doing it, I got you. I promise I do. Mm -hmm. And it ain't, it ain't no, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't do it for accolades. I don't do it for attaboys or a pass on the back. I do it because it's, 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 it's what God gave me. Right. This is my gift. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I know what my gift is. I identify my own gift. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And I, my gift is 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 to be a giver. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if I can give my time, you know what I'm saying? Romans twelve one, you, you, your time, talent, and your money, your treasure. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm one of them guys. You know what I'm saying? That right. that that that'll, that'll go that'll break down the wall for you if I can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm I'm just here. You know what I'm saying? On this platform, to, you know what I'm saying? To encourage any and everybody on here. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. Let me tell you again, I'm not flawed by no stretch of imagination. I got plenty of flaws. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like I said, I wake up with a mindset of being better. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and that's what it is. I, I, like I said, continue. To, I, I wish everybody on here to continue to strive, reach your goals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't ever let nobody stop you from your own goals. Because guess what? You set them, you make them, you go after them. That's right. Oh uh, yes. Um, 
And then I wanted to give a little advice when it comes to your your family and your your relationships. I'm gonna appreciate your family and appreciate your uh your relationships or your marriages. I mean, don't take them for granted. I mean, life is too short. I mean, love them. You know, right. if that's all you have to do is just love them, just keep on loving them. I mean, be glad that God gave you them. They might not be the the family members that you wanted, but you know, this is what God God gave you a hand. Play it. You know. And you can you can make a winning winning hand, so make it out of a winning hand. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. I mean, I love y'all. All right. In, in closing, uh, I'd like to say love everybody. Um, if this if this is uh, bringing in wisdom, understanding your life, we are grateful for that. Uh, don't major in the minors. Um, love family, love and fellowship, and put God first. Yeah. Uh, this is Dave. This is Rod. And, and this, this is Real, real talk. talk. Real men talking about real problems coming up with real solutions. Again, we want to thank our guy, Nate, Nate for coming, through, coming through to hang out with us, man, and give us some truths. Yeah, he's going to bring us out. Thank for, we thank Kurt for being yeah. in the background. Yeah. He wasn't on live, yeah. but he, yeah. you know what I'm saying, we love his presence. Yeah. He gave us some, you know what I'm saying, some yeah, words and like, knowledge yeah, from, the, from the background. He dropped a couple nuggets on us. We thank him for that. Again, we want y'all to like and share this thing. Man, we just we just we just some humble guys right. trying to give out some humble, real solutional right. experiences that we deal with in our in our own realm of of of, of, of living every day. That's right. you know what I'm saying nobody on here is perfect. Right. Everybody right. everybody right. is right. imperfect oh. right on this yeah, thing yeah. right here. Right. But we're gonna close it down in prayer so and I'm we thank y'all for everything you've done. Amen. Right. Let us pray. Eternal wise God, we come at this hour to say thank you, O God. We thank you thank for you. what I have thank to do with Jesus here. Our has been made of fellow God. We thank you uh, for this platform, O God, that it may glorify you in everything that go out to do. We pray for those on the other end that are listening, O God, that they may be saturated in our hearts to do something different. We ask all these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We love y'all. Peace. All right. <laughs>